Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are underway. It is Hopkinton at Hiller's Varsity Field Hockey as they are taking on Medway. Game two of our four game day here on HCAM. Four 15 minute quarters for this varsity matchup. Tom Nappy, happy to be on the call as the Hillers and Medway open up their season in varsity field hockey. Back and forth along the far side they go. We had the JV game. Medway got the three to nothing win in that game. And now we have the varsity action and we talked to head coach Rebecca Vade on Wednesday's HCAM Sports Talk Live, which of course you can see every Wednesday at 3 p.m. And she is very excited about the talent on this team as out of bounds along the far side. It will be Hiller's ball. Sarah Doyle will send it over towards midfield. Picked up by Liz Kane. Sent back out, it'll be Medway ball now. Hopkinton will work left to right across your screen here in this first quarter. And I was just told that the quarters in field hockey is obviously different from the typical halves, but they were planning on switching to quarters regardless of COVID. So that switch has been made. So the quarters in field hockey will be a permanent thing rather than the two 30 minute halves. You'll have the four 15 minute quarters as Alyssa Souza trying to gather up possession. Nice pass there, a swing and a miss by Megan Muldoon. Along the far side is Bonnie Sharma rushing in. And it's knocked away as getting the stick in there was Samantha Buonacorsi. Had a play along the far side. Rhea Vasco sends it up. Here comes Sophie Donovan. Muldoon took a strike at it. She gathers it up, sends it over to Sharma. Bonnie Sharma coming up the far side. Three minutes into action here in this first quarter. Out in front, there's a shot and a kick away by the goalkeeper. Off the stick of Muldoon. Sharma going to take a strike at it. And it's kicked back out. Taylor is putting the early pressure on here in quarter number one. Sent over to Liz Kane. Here comes Ravella. Sends it over to Belcher. Belger trying to take it down. He'll go Hiller's way as Liz Kane got in there. Captains on this year's Hiller's team. You got Liz Kane, Sarah Doyle, Megan Muldoon. Hiller is, of course, led by head coach Becky Abate and Megan Carlisle, co head coaches this year for the Hopkinton Hillers. So we'll get a whistle here. It'll be Hiller's. Ball. Sarah Doyle will send it up. Medway is led by head coach Mary Ellen Hassenfuss, assisted by Brenda Telamini and Kelly Sotsky. Sarah Doyle will pass it back over to Liz Kane. Sharma, backhander, deflected away by a defender. Sends it out, looking for a shot here, and it, the attempt to kick it away is not going to be successful, as getting in there for the score is Alyssa Souza. So you give Sharma the assist on that one, and Alyssa Souza the goal. 1-0 Hillers. The score comes with 10-15 left in the first quarter. Now 
was just a uh, great ball distribution there in the box. Sharma with a nice backhander, sent it right out in front, and the goalkeeper just could not get it away. And Souza puts the finishing touches on it for the first score of the game. And so far, this Hillers team just showing that they have all kinds of speed working up the field. Souza trying to gather it up, sends it back. Over to Muldoon. Medway rushing in. Way trying to attack a little bit here as Julie Berger is in there. Was sent up by Paige Domenico. Collected by Ravella along the near side. Out in front to Domenico. We get a stoppage. It'll be Medway ball. Take it 25 yards out. Vela sends it back to Mary Kate McDougal. Mary Kate McDougal, the only listed captain on this Medway team. Miller's trying to clear the zone. It's stolen away by Sharma by Vasco. Get a stoppage as Suzu is trying to take it up. Rushing in. There's a shot out in front, deflected away. And we get a stoppage. It was Julie Berger getting the stick on it. And Hopkinton will have it. Sends it up. Sharma. To Souza. Back to Sharma. To the legs of Souza goes Mary Kate McDougal. Ehlers keeping possession, however. Sharma trying to send it to the box area. Cleared away. Here comes the Mustangs of Medway along the far side. Hillers get it right back. Is there Doyle getting in there? Doyle up against Vasco. Backhanded swipe by Berger to the near side. Kane sends it up. Taken by Ravella for Medway. Over to Berger. Backhanded down towards Domenico. Out in front. And a missed shot opportunity there as Berger gets tied up and it's taken by Sharma. 6.48 and counting left to go in this first quarter. 1-0 Hiller's lead. Some of the COVID rules, you won't see any timeouts during the action. No timeouts allowed. And of course, uh, they adapted the four 15 minute quarters and that is going to be a permanent thing in field hockey. Soccer, as you'll see at our 130 game where the Hillers girls varsity team will take on Medway is also going to be four quarters. That is not a permanent thing for soccer. They are doing that to have that extra stoppage to sanitize all the equipment. Megan Muldoon will get the hit here. by Donovan. Collected by Ravella. And of course, one of the other rule adjustments, you won't have those uh, 
free hits anymore. Instead, they'll take it 25 yards out and have to pass to a teammate. And of course, the biggest rule change, rather than 11 on 11, it's seven on seven. And that includes the goalkeeper. So a little bit more ground to cover for these field hockey athletes. But you will see a lot more substitution as Doyle sends it out to Souza. yards out it goes. Sophie Driscoll will send it over. And a tie up uh, along the 20 yard line. Hopkinton ball. Sit down by Medway's Ravella. working her way up the far side. Nisha Perlman getting tied up with Driscoll. Sit down by Buona Corsi. Picked up by Souza. Sophie Donovan is there contesting. Asco sends it into Hiller's territory. Here comes Medway. 327 Ann County left to go. Midway on the attack. Backhanded shot there is kicked away by the goalkeeper. It was Paige Dominico trying to send it towards the net. Caroline Kane in net for the Hillers. Medway with possession along the near side. Vasco sends it down. Picked up by Zeigler. The two and a half mark left in the first quarter. Upfield it goes, picked up by Souza. Sent back down by Medway, stepping in and stealing it away. That was Ellery Shoot. gets the stick on it and knocks it back into Hiller's territory. And we have a collision. Mara Souza got wrapped up with Alicia Perlman drawing the stoppage. Set down by Vasco. Here comes Medway. Kicked away by the goalkeeper. Quickly approaching was Haley Ravella. He sent in. Medway. Vela sends it over, top of the box. Backhander by Dominico. That's 
sent out. 28 seconds and counting left to go in this first quarter. Valerie Shoot trying to send it up. Here comes Medway once again. In and out of the box it goes. Along the near side, that's Alyssa Souza. And that is going to do it for quarter number one. After one quarter of play, it's Hopkinton one, Medway nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Field Hockey on HCAM. So if you find yourself uh, having trouble keeping up with the action at all, just zoom out a little bit. Okay, yep. But uh, I, was, I was watching the stream, it looks good. <laughs> Back to the Hopkinton High School turf field as we are ready for quarter number two, a 1-0 lead by the Hillers. It was Alyssa Souza on a Bonnie Sharma assist with the first and only goal of the game to this point. Medway will start off with possession for the second quarter. And we are underway. I'm happy, happy to be with you on the call this afternoon. We had the JV field hockey game, and we got varsity, and we got a couple soccer games coming up starting at 1.30 with girls varsity soccer, and then we'll be followed up by the JV girls soccer team. And we have two more Hillers games tomorrow. I'm right here at the turf field at two o'clock. Boys JV soccer and then the varsity soccer team at four o'clock. Those games will be live as well. As mentioned in the JV broadcast, there's a restriction on fans and it's great to see some fans here practicing uh, social distancing, of course, but each player gets two lanyards they could give to a family member or friend to come to the game for each game and you have to have a lanyard to come into the games which is why we're going to make sure that we have all these games live so you can watch 
All the Hillers action from the comfort of your own home. Ronnie Sharma. The near side out of play it goes. The Medway ball. Bello sends it down. Turned away by Sierra Perry. And there comes Sarah Doyle sending it up to Sharma. She has some speed. Good hit there right off of Mustang. It went off of Mary Kay McDougal. That was a hard hit by Sharma. will take it from 25 yards out. Sophia Luce sends it back. And it's intercepted by Perlman. Alicia Perlman rushing up the field. Here comes Medway. Perlman approaching, shot, deflected away by the goalkeeper. Nice save there by Caroline Kane. And that for Medway, it's Sophie Brady. Both goalies have been pretty busy in this game so far. Some great attacks by both sides. Here comes Vani Sharma up the near side. Sharma sends it back over to Sophia Luce. Sharma will send it over. Sophie Driscoll picks it up. There's a shot, and that is in. Sarah Doyle with the score. Two nothing, Hillers. A nice shot there by the captain midfielder, Sarah Doyle, in her senior season. Four comes with 11.41 left to go in the second quarter. And uh, another rule difference that we haven't told you about yet, well not really a rule, but more just a procedure, is the officials have electric whistles. As Medway approaching Hopkinton territory. It was Lola Paulette working her way up the near side and electric whistles. I wasn't quite sure how they were going to sound, but it, they pretty much sound like the real thing. I didn't even notice up until this point. The stoppage here. Medway will take it from 25 yards out. Peterson. Trying to send it into the box. Back and forth we go in front of the Hiller's defensive box. Sophia Lou sends it up. Over to the near side, that'll trickle out of play. Medway ball. is turned away by Kane. As Peterson was able to rifle off a shot. Sharma along the near side. And a play goes. Medway ball. Peterson put it in play for the Mustangs. Rushing in, looking for a shot here, turned away. It was Samantha Bonacorsi getting the shot off and a nice turn away there by Kane. Liz 
Kane will take it. Good hard send up there. Intercepted by Peterson. Sends it forward. Here comes Medway on the attack once again. And out of play it goes. But of course he was trying to center it up and not get the knock on it she wanted. Actually that was Sarah Peterson rather. It'll be Hiller's ball. 35 and counting left to go here in the second quarter. A 2-0 Hillers lead, but Medway putting the pressure on in these last few minutes. Was handled by Eden Murphy. Into the box once again, kicked away by the goalkeeper. Hillers defending their zone well, but having a little Trouble clearing. Harry K. McDougall sends it back down for Medway. Up to Vani Sharma. Sent down by McDougall. Handled by Paulette. Paulette trying to get around Sarah Doyle. Sends it up. Turned up field towards Souza. Souza playing keep away as Sarah Peterson got in there. Souza matched up with Peterson. Sends it over. Good pass to Sharma. Feed by Doyle. Hillers approaching Medway territory, but back to Hillers territory we go. Here comes a speedy Alicia Perlman. Perlman rushing in around the lone defender, backhander, and it's kicked away. Caroline Kane has been busy in this second quarter. Medway ball. Paige Davidico trying to send it over. And we get a stoppage here. Ten and counting left to go. It will be Medway Ball. So we make a couple substitutions. Here comes the Hiller set up by Driscoll over to Sharma. And it's collected by Peterson. Contact whistle there. Peterson sends it upfield. And that's uh, another contact whistle as Berger and Sousa met up. Pretty much when any players are make any type of contact, they're going to blow that whistle have a reset. And it's fairly typical in field hockey, but this year especially with the COVID-19 precautions. It's Medway driving in once again. Out in front. And it's kicked away by Kane. Went out of play. 
way, and it looks like it comes out on Medway. Just under five minutes left to go in the second quarter. Taken away. And a shot there, and it looks just wide. Off the stick of Julie Berger. That was a big break for the Hillers there. A wide open opportunity for Medway with Berger and Ravella deep in the box. And Berger was trying to slice it towards Ravella, but sent it just wide of the net. Along the far side. Sent over to Doyle. Here comes Souza. Back to Doyle. Souza now. And we get a contact whistle there as Berger approaches Doyle. Doyle sends it back. Slice forward by Hauser. Working upfield, Domenico. Handled by Kane. She'll backhand it up the far side and out of play. Headway ball. on the scoreboard stopped at 451. Not sure if it's some kind of malfunction, but the officials, they certainly are keeping track of the time as well. Here comes Hopkinton. Sousa sends it over. Marked up field by Aaron K. McDougall, Medway captain. Athletic Director uh, Rich Cormier having a word with the official about the scoreboard clock. It does appear to be the case. It seems to be some type of malfunction, but the officials, of course, have a stopwatch. And Sarah Peterson was driving upfield, but she was turned away. Good defensive effort by Liz Kane. Officials stoppage here. Need a ball. Along the near side. Here comes Berger. away by Kane. And a play goes along the far sideline. Well, if I had a guess, I would say there's about two, two and a half minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Sent over by Souza along the far side. Medway will take it. Goes back to Mary K. McDougall who sends it up. Medway trying to attack once again. And there is your buzzer to wrap up the second quarter. After two quarters of play, it's the Hopkinton Hillers two, Medway nothing. Third quarter will 
start in about five minutes or so. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Field Hockey on H Camp. Welcome back to the Hopkinton High School Turf Fields as we are ready for the second half. The third quarter will start in just moments. 15 minute quarters for varsity field hockey. And it was 12 minutes for the JV games. And we are underway. A 2-0 lead by the Hillers. They had a score in each of the first two quarters. And Alyssa Souza with a Vani Sharma assist at 10.15 left in the first. And then you had Sarah Doyle knock one in with 11.41 left in the second quarter. But the Medway Mustangs certainly put a lot of pressure on towards the end of that second quarter in the Last few minutes, and they're trying to put pressure here as Paulette sends it over. Gathers it up in the box, and we get a stoppage. Contact stoppage there. And it looks like we have an injured player for the Hillers. That's uh, Mara Souza a little shook up. The trainer will check on her. We certainly hope she's okay. But there was some hard contact in the box, some incidental contact, and I think that's what happened there. So she is going to come out of the game and be further looked at by the trainer. Coming into the game, Sophie Driscoll, senior. will be Medway Ball. Rhea Vasco will take it. ball now. This Kane sends it up. Intercepted along the near side by Vasco. She was trying to find Paulette who was then contested by Kane. On, says the official. Medway trying to put on some pressure as Donovan got in there, but it's taken away by Driscoll. Driscoll backhands it. Paulette picks it up along the sideline. And we get a contact stoppage. Paulette sends it forward. Getting in on the action was Ellery Chute. And it's picked up by Hauser. Hiller's ball. Where he shoots, sends it down. On the near side now. And Hauser got tied up with Vasco drawing the whistle. Dune. Windy 
afternoon here at the Hopkinton High School turf fields. Uh, great sunny day though for opening the field hockey and soccer seasons. And because of uh, the COVID situation, all the Hillers games will be on weekends for field hockey and soccer. As we talked to athletic director Rich Cormier about that a few weeks ago on the H Camp Sports Talk live show, which you can catch every Wednesday at 3 p.m. by the way, catching you up with all the latest in local sports. And he mentioned that it was a number of reasons why they decided weekends were best. The bus situation, booking the officials as the officials uh, are certainly uh, limited with a lot of games taking place on the weekdays and some of the officials not wanting to participate this season because of the COVID-19 situation. There's a shot and a goal by Medway. Paige Domenico with the score. Sophie Donovan with the assist. It's a two to one match. Well, the Mustangs, they kept putting the pressure on and they finally broke through for a nice score. We have ourselves a good battle here at the turf fields. Muldoon. And here comes Souza, or make that Sharma rather. She'll send it over looking for Souza. Scooped out of the box by Mary Kate McDougall. Pushed forward over to Donovan. Stoppage here. Medway ball. 10.33 and ticking left to go in the third quarter. They do have the scoreboard clock working once again, which is good. Muldoon is just surrounded by Mustangs towards midfield, taken by Donovan. And getting in there that time was Ellery Shute. Along the near side, here comes Murphy. Over to Vasco. She'll put that one off of Muldoon. Hard shot, looked like it went right off the ankle. Off of Muldoon it goes, and now it's kicked away by the goalkeeper. Off the stoppage, Medway will maintain possession. Vasco sends it back. Into the box. Stolen away as Kane was trying to drag it out and Aiden Murphy got in there. I'll tell you one thing, it was chilly uh, for the JV game this morning, but the Temperature is starting to get up there. It's expected to reach about 79 degrees in the area today, but the wind is certainly going to make it feel like a little more chilly. Out in front, and it's kicked away as Sophie Donovan was able to get in there. Good effort once again by the goaltender, Caroline Kane. Medway continuing to put the pressure on. And here comes Sharma trying to rush upfield. We get a stoppage. It will go in the Hiller's favor. Well, Hopkinton, uh, they have to find a way to work it into Medway territory and start putting some pressure on the Mustangs. Here comes Sh the speedy Vani Sharma. Sharma swipes at it, top of the box, sent away. Sharma. Sends it over. Medway will clear for the moment. Pass over to Souza. And 
this stoppage will go in favor of Medway. It's a good steal by Muldoon, able to get it over to Souza. Mary Kate McDougal takes a swipe at it. Yeah, third time a charm there. As she's sent it airborne, which is a violation, so it's Hiller's ball. Take it from 25 yards out. Closing in, took a shot. And I think she got a piece of uh, Paige Domenico there. Domenico had a hobble towards the end line. Be Hiller's ball. 6.40 and counting left to go in this third quarter. Doyle. It's taken by the Mustangs, but quick to get in there is Driscoll. Had a play along the far side. Driscoll sends it up. Way, trying to approach Hiller's territory. It's been a good back and forth battle all afternoon between these two very talented teams. A lot of experience on both rosters. Medway loaded with juniors. Hillers did lose 10 players from last year's roster, but a lot of up and great coming talent as Sharma strikes for a score. What a shot there by the senior, Vani Sharma. And that score comes with 531 left to, oh no, actually it looks like they're not gonna count that goal. Since it was uh, airborne, I believe. So no score there, although it was certainly a nice effort. It remains a two to one match. Souza. Sends it back to Doyle. Swipe there by Sharma. Past the end line it goes. Medway ball. I'm still trying to get all the rules down to field hockey. Obviously uh, not the most experienced and I certainly understand the game a lot more than I did when I uh, first started broadcasting Hiller's field hockey, but we'll get there. Certainly a very fun sport. To announce for you for sure as Berger driving in for Medway. There's a shot and it's taken away by Chute who got in there. Stolen back by Berger. Medway trying to put some pressure on. Driscoll trying to get to it for the Hillers. Out in front. And Berger got tied up with Doyle. Medway will take it from. 25 yards out. No penalty corners this season with the COVID-19 rules. Bonnie Sharma takes it up the far side. Woo! 
Swiped down by Doyle. Sharma sends it out front looking for Souza. Just under three minutes left to go in this third quarter. Here comes Medway. Berger up the near side. Out in front, there's a shot sent wide by Domenico. Paige Domenico has the only goal of the game for Medway. She was looking for another one there, but just wide. Substitution for Medway, Paige Sheehan in the game. side of Doyle. Sent up to Muldoon. Muldoon rushing upfield. Sends it between the legs of a Mustang over to Souza. And it's taken away. Getting in there is Muldoon. Up to Souza. Souza is trying to send it to the top of the box. And Muldoon was able to get to it. Here comes Sharma. Sharma battling, and we get a contact whistle there. A minute left now in this third quarter, and Taylor is with an opportunity here. Back over to Doyle. There's Bowl. Pass over to Souza. Souza sends it up and past the end line. seconds and counting left to go here in this third quarter and it looks like it's going to be a two to one match as we wrap up quarter number three that's going to do it for the third quarter 15 more minutes of action is coming up in just a couple minutes at the end of three it's Hopkinton two Medway one you are tuned in to uh, Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Field Hockey on HCAM.
We are ready for the fourth quarter of action. It's a two to one lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. Hillers scored in each of the first two quarters. Medway scored the only goal in the third quarter. It was early on in that third quarter and then it was a good defensive battle to finish it out. Who will come out on top in this one? We'll find out in about 15 minutes as we are underway in the fourth quarter. Hiller is working right to left across your screen. Sent up by Muldoon. Hiller's trying to take control here. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you on the call. And don't forget, we have two more games coming up for you today. Girls Varsity Soccer at 1.30 against Medway. And then we'll have the Girls JV Soccer team against Medway. A game scheduled for a 3.30 start. Sent up field, turned away. We get a stoppage. Sarah Doyle sends it back. Over to Muldoon. Taken by Medway. Medway trying to rush into Hiller's territory. Sent down by Doyle. Chute gets in there. Uh, midfield Muldoon. Souza along the far side. Well, the way this game's going, I mean, if the Hiller is able to net another goal, that could be it. It's been a defensive battle for sure between these two very talented teams. Along the far side, Medway trying to take it back. Swiped up field over to Souza. Souza was trying for the Center up towards Toledo's Nordling, and it was deferred by Medway. Hiller is trying to take back control. Here they come. Into the box goes Nordling. Now with Sousa getting a stick on it, it is turned away by other goalkeeper, Sophie Brady. Along the far side now. And it's sent up and turned away by the goalkeeper. Puts it back upfield. Berger, the backhander. Shute turns it away. Along the far side is the wind picking up once again. Doyle trying to send it out of the danger zone. Edway's starting back up a little bit with the pressure. Corsi sends it over. Okay, Who 
want to be sure to thank our HCAM crew for this game. Siki and Jackson on camera today. Hiller's trying to work up into Medway territory. Alicia Perlman sends it over. Berger rushing in. There's a shot out in front. And Chute trying to get it out of the danger zone. We get a stoppage. Looks like it'll go in Medway's favor. Substitution for Medway. Paige Sheehan comes out of the game. Lola Paulette, the sophomore, enters. 9.15 and counting left to go here in this fourth quarter. We're going to stop it here. Alicia Perlman was trying to put it into the box. Stoppage, Hiller's ball. Sarah Doyle sends it up. Steve Sweetapple will join us for Hiller's girls soccer coverage. Which starts up at 1.30 and we'll be live the whole afternoon after this game, we'll keep the live feed up all throughout the Varsity and JV girls games. We'll be live once again tomorrow afternoon starting at 2 p.m. for Hiller's boys JV and Varsity soccer as they take on Medway. And right now the boys soccer team is playing in Medway. Nordling sends it over. That's going to be how it works. Field for field hockey, girls and boys soccer. All the teams are going to have games Saturday and Sunday. And there's two pods in the TVL. They separated the TVL teams in the two groups of six. Hopkinton is in uh, the pod along with Medway, Holliston, Ashland, and I believe Bellingham. And those are the five teams that they will play. Of course, Medway. And you'll do your away game one day. So the Hillers boys in Medway and then Tomorrow, the Hillers boys here against Medway. And they'll be doing this for the next several weekends, and we'll have all the action live for you as that is sent out of play by Berger. 6.34 and counting left to go here in this final quarter. Hillers leading Medway 2-1, to one, looking to grab a W in their first game of the season. Hockey boys and girls soccer will all play 10 games each in the 10 game season. And obviously, it's not the most ideal situation. I'm sure all the teams would certainly love to play the full 20 game schedule and have all the postseason possibilities as well. But it's just great to see these student athletes getting a chance to get out there on the field and have an opportunity to participate in the sport they love. Along the far side, sent up field, Sharma gets in there. She'll send it over to Souza. That way able to take it back. It'll be Hiller's ball here. Doyle up to Souza. Souza. 
do it again. This time Medway will have possession. Doyle looking for the steal, sends it over to Sharma. Top of the box. Paulette along the far side. Sends it forward, kicked away by the goalkeeper. The Hiller's ball. Mallory Chute has done a great job in the box for the Hillers defending. Edway has put a lot of pressure on, but has been turned away a number of times. And the Hillers trying to hang on against a good Medway team. Doyle sends it over to Sophia Luce along the far side. Sharma sends it up over to Hutchinson. Hutchinson is deferred. Just under four minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. Medway ball. Doyle. It's an upfield to Driscoll. Along the corner. Hutchinson trying to get in there and take it away. Into the box it goes. Still in play as it's scooped out by Mary Kate McDougall. And here comes Medway along the far side. Sent over to Perlman. Perlman out in front. Sharma turns her away. We do get a stoppage here. in favor of Medway. Two thirty-five and counting left to go. Medway with what could be their last attempt here to try to tie things up. And a stoppage in favor of Hopkinton. Sophie Driscoll Sends it up the far side. Sophia Luce off the reset. Over to Hutchinson. Knocked up the near side by McDougal. And a good battle here along the near side is Sarah Doyle. With some good control trying to work past Sophie Donovan. Donovan gets the whistle in her favor, sends it upfield into Hiller's territory. Here comes Medway with an opportunity, rushing in, shot, and it's kicked away. Still in the danger zone. And the goaltender having a hard time. A nice job by Chute, who was defending the net. Well, Caroline Kane had to come pretty far out to try to turn it away from Jenna Rankin and a number of other Mustangs, Medway trying to get back into the box. Good control there by Sarah Doyle, able to get it around Alicia Perlman. Rankin sends it over. Pass by Doyle, over to Vani Sharma. Forty-five seconds and counting left to go in this fourth quarter. Here goes Avery Hutchinson for Hopkinton. Vasco sends it up. Along the far side, that's Driscoll. Medway running out of time, 20 seconds left. 
Doyle sends it to midfield. It's kind of like a keep away at this point. Just keep it away, let that clock run out. 10 seconds left. Sophia loose along the far side. That is going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to take the win in game number one of the season over Medway by a final score of two to one. It was a tremendous and fun defensive battle between these two very talented teams. But the Hopkinton Hillers take the win two to one. They're one and zero on the season. Medway falls to zero and one. And this match was certainly. A lot of fun, and we look forward to watching this Hillers Varsity Field Hockey team all season long. We're going to take a break. The live stream will be up, and we're just about an hour away from Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer. So stick around. For everyone at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and we will talk to you again soon. Girls Varsity Soccer at 1.30, followed by the JV game at 3.30 as our quadruple header of Hiller Sports continues on HCAM.